What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to a super quick video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the wrong keyboard layout for inputs. If you plug in a keyboard into a fresh install of Windows or one that you've recently changed the language on, you'll likely notice that some keys are swapped around. For example, the number two with an at above it for me on UK keyboards and other keyboards alike, even though they're still QWERTY keyboards, has a quotation mark there instead of an at symbol. That can be very annoying, especially if you're completely used to one layout and now you're being forced to use another, even though your keyboard has writing on it showing something else. How do we fix that? Well, it's really simple. All you have to do is press start and then type in language. Open up language settings. Inside of here, you'll see different language settings, such as the Windows display language, which you should set to the language you'd like to read Windows in. Right below it, you'll see preferred languages, and this is where you can select your input language. So if we go ahead and select one of these languages down here, after clicking on it and clicking options, you'll see keyboards right over here. This is where we can set the correct keyboard layout for the language that we currently have selected. If your keyboard layout is a US QWERTY keyboard, and for some reason it says UK here, all you have to do is click add keyboard, select the correct one from the list up here, and then make sure to click on the old one and remove it so that you only have one keyboard layout here. Make sure to do that for all of the languages that you have available here, just to make sure that they work properly. Now, usually you'll have one language here, maybe two, and you can swap between them with start and space. Usually you'd use this if you have multiple languages, but for someone like me, that may become annoying. If you're like me and you only ever use one language on your keyboard and one layout, you may want to get rid of other languages here altogether. You can do that by clicking on them, moving them down in the list, and then simply removing them. It's that simple. Now hitting start space won't bring up that pop-up menu anymore. And of course, we'll only have one keyboard layout here that will never change. It's that simple. But anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.